All right, let's hop into front lines mode and I'll show you what's going on in front lines. This time it's called uh, Expedition. Uh, of course, Frontline 2020, they're calling it Expedition. So here we are, Frontline Expedition. Click on the Level 1 logo and it'll take you into the um, interface that will show you what's going on in uh, Frontline's 2020. Here we go. First up, let's take a look at the tanks that are available expedition 2020 you gotta earn a, a total of 12 points to pick one of these tanks and uh, you can either do that in frontline or steel hunter of course frontline is kicking off first so you can get um uh, one of these tanks for 12 points um every month uh, you can get four points so it's gonna be four events and you can get 12 points i think the earliest you can get it is in uh in may if i'm not mistaken if you look at my past video i think it's in may that uh, you will get full 12 points if you compete in it and, um, and get the full 12 points but anyway uh here we go level one 200 points to get to level two of course but let's look at the um, progression level one to 15 15 is the final level in the past it used to be 30 levels in 2018 you had 30 levels less points in 2019 you had 30 levels but look at the amount of points you had to more than double uh, you had to double your points well basically uh, in order to complete the entire season but uh, in season 2020 only 15 levels per episode so four episodes 15 levels each and and each um each episode when you complete level 1 to 15 you get four tokens so you do this in march uh april and may i think in april you get two uh, two episodes of frontline so basically uh, in by may you can do four of these very quickly and i'm going to tell you why it's going to be quick because um the requirement is actually less points because look at this from level one to get to tier two only 200 points you will need which means what's in the past in 2018 you needed 350 points to get to level two in 2019 with 30 levels you needed 300 points to get to level two so i am expecting this level 1 to level 15 requiring less points now in the past it used to cost uh fifth level 15 um 10000 points last year and in 2018 it only took 681 well not 681 but what i mean is you it cost a lot less and now it looks like it's going to cost a lot less because based on the level one 200 points you need based on last year's level one 300 points you need so maybe you save one third of the amount of points to get to level 15. but let's check at the uh, ranking do you still get the same amount of rank points as you do uh, let's take a look in general you still get 1200 ranking points uh, if you make it to general so with 1200 ranking points uh, you can actually uh, leapfrog sorry you can actually leapfrog uh, leapfrog straight to level four or level five something like that if you if your first game was a general so and that's the good news it seems like you need a lot less points uh, to make it to um level 15 and complete um this episode with the four tokens so that's the good news about front lines all right with all that information let's get straight to the game and uh, let me give you some uh, tips on how to be mega efficient on uh, getting your ranks up and uh, getting your levels up to level 15 uh, quick and efficiently and uh, making the most uh, out of this game mode now like i mentioned earlier in this um, video 
level only 15 levels in this episode uh, instead of the regular 30 episodes we are 30 levels we had in the past years so uh, basically you don't need to rush this game mode uh, for the hardcore guys out there hardcore players i'm pretty sure you can complete um episode one now this episode 15 levels in maybe one or two sittings uh, i'm pretty sure it's uh, doable uh, because of only the 15 levels uh, maybe i'm estimating 15,000, 17,000 um front line points that you need to complete uh 15 levels so i would say um you don't need to rush this game mode i think uh, you can easily cover it playing casually for one week no problem just play an hour or so a day wouldn't be a problem to finish this game mode so with that in mind the first tip i want to uh, mention to you the first thing you want to do is make sure you're playing this mode with just standard shells why because this is a great game mode to make credits and you can't earn more credits if you're firing a lot of premium shells now in this particular game uh, i'm shooting almost uh, in the entire game with standard shells ap shells even though i'm playing aggressively and uh, trying to do my best i am still um, mindful that uh, I, oh, i'm here to make credits um, i don't care too much about ranking up i don't care too much about uh, winning or losing i just want to make a lot of credits at this point in time so i'm just going to fire um standard shells and play my best that way now remember because we are not in a crunch uh, we are not in a hurry to rank up uh, like in previous years where each uh, each episode you had to like try to rank up um, three episodes or something like that you don't need to catch up right now uh, you can take your time to play it so there is absolutely no pressure for you to uh, rank as high as you can every game in fact uh, if you rank captain or major that's going to be fine just make sure that you are make cre uh, you know grinding out lots of credits in this game mode so the first tip i want to give you is make sure you are uh, platoon in this game mode because when you platoon in this game mode you're gonna earn that extra 15% credits and on top of 15% credit boosters you also get 15% uh, extra combat experience so this is very useful uh, especially if you are grinding your tier 8 tech tree tanks you can use that uh, you can use those tanks for this game mode and uh, earn up earn a lot of uh, earn your combat bonuses uh from this game mode now on top of that 15 percent combat experience bonus uh you also get like uh, extra 200 percent xp combat bonus uh, if you rank general uh all the other ranks also give you a multiplier for your combat booster so it's really great uh if you are using it uh using this game mode to uh, advance your tier 8 grinds but of course uh, if you're advancing you're trying to advance your tier 8 grinds with tech 3 tier 8 tanks you are missing out on playing this game mode to earn credits um, which you should do if you are playing this game mode to be honest uh, you want to try and play um, most of your tanks uh, in premium tier 8 uh, because uh, you will be earning a lot more credits in this uh, game mode uh, than your regular uh, than regularly playing your normal tanks now uh, and my next tip for you is make sure you turn on your boosters if you have clan boosters turn on those clan boosters use it often um, your clan boosters um, get you 30 percent extra credits so on top of your 15 percent credit boosters for platooning you can also earn extra 30% credit boosters if you are in a clan and have your clan boosters turned on. Another credit booster is your personal reserve uh, booster which gives you 50% uh, maximum. 50% credit booster so you can get 50% credit personal credit boosters, 30% clan boosters and 15% platoon boosters. That is what 
95% extra credits on top of whatever credits you are earning out of this game mode in premium tanks so that is why a lot of people use this game mode to grind out credits um, if you are efficient uh, you can earn somewhere between 350 to uh, 550,000 credits per game so every cycle of 20 25 minutes you are earning uh, that kind of um, credit potential now my next tip for you play aggressively in the early game uh, you saw me playing very aggressively in the early game uh, in fact i yoloed in and did a lot of damage uh, in my t44 100 um, again another one another tip is um, not just play aggressive in the early game but play um play a lot of medium tanks aggressive tanks uh, strong premium tanks like the projecto 46 the t44 100 a lorraine 40 ton and lt432 um, those kind of top aggressive tanks are very useful in this game mode tanks that give you uh, mobility give you view range and uh, have a quick reload time uh, these are very useful now the next tip would be make sure you are managing your uh, reserve tanks very carefully now every time you want to play uh, you're going in deep or being aggressive as i am doing here you can see i have two uh, reserve tanks uh, always waiting for me because if I'm putting myself out there and uh, playing a risky game I want to make sure that I can uh, immediately pick another tank uh, if I died and uh, go into the garage I don't have a problem I can immediately jump into another tank I'm being efficient not wasting time uh, now if you look at my reserve tanks right now I have two in reserve while I'm playing the T44-100 so I can be hyper aggressive if I wanted to if I died here it wouldn't be a problem uh, my teammate died there because he crossed the red line and uh, that was the red line you know it's not ready to be entered yet and he entered and died but anyway I can be hyper aggressive even if I lose a bunch of HP and died right now I can immediately jump into another tank and uh, because I have two Two tanks in reserve even if i lost that tank i still have one more in reserve so that my fourth tip is manage your reserve tanks very carefully uh, make sure you have reserve tanks very important if you don't have reserve tanks you need to pull back and play a little bit more conservative if you have a lot of reserve tanks in your reserve uh, play a little bit more aggressively because you can trade your hp trade your reserve tanks for more damage okay now, now my tip number five use like i said earlier use medium tanks use light tanks use the meta tanks like the t44 100 projecto lorraine 40 ton tanks that can uh, move around shift around the map quickly uh, if you don't have these tanks you can use tech 3 tanks like the t44 or uh, fv4202 premium tanks if you don't have um, the uh, T44-100 you can use the Progetto uh, sorry you can use the Scorpion G it's not a problem um, although it's not completely 100% ideal but the Scorpion G does have a little bit of speed it can flex around the map now you see me here looking at the map taking a long time deciding what I want to do now even though uh, I'm ready to be spawned in but I decide to wait and make sure i study the map properly and uh, have map awareness because map awareness is key to success here and uh, that is my next tip i decide to jump into the um, ebr fl10 uh, this is a great tank for uh, flexing around the map uh, and doing damage while you know being able to run away again i am only using standard shells here because i want to be trying to maximize my credit earning potential so remember that credit earning potential is very important so try to uh, minimize your uh, premium shells unless you are unless you absolutely have to use premium shells to shoot heavy tanks or armored tanks frontally now um, my tip number my tip number seven 
make sure you are ready to switch flanks, which is why I, I advise you to use uh, mobile tanks like wheeled tanks, medium tanks, tanks that can shift around the map quickly. Uh, make sure you are ready to switch flanks uh, when you died. Like you saw me there, I died. I get into the garage, make sure I'm studying the map and look at where all the action is. You want to go, basically want to go where people are fighting. You don't want to go somewhere where there's absolutely nobody unless uh, you have to go there to defend a, an objective or something like that. Um, you know, someone is shooting your objectives and there's no one defending it, then perhaps you need to do it yourself. But basically you want to go where the action is uh, unless you are in like maybe this tank, an EBR-75. You saw me there looking at my team sheet. I'm looking at my team sheet. There is nothing going on here, so I have two choices. I can switch flanks or I can go look for the um, artillery piece and that Scorpion G on this side of the map. So which that's exactly what I'm going to do. So with a wheeled tank, I can switch flanks almost at a drop of a hat. Anytime I can switch flanks. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, go find the um, artillery, Lorraine. If I find the Scorpion G, I'll find the Scorpion G and then I will switch flanks. But basically, uh, I can absolutely flex around the map easily in a wheeled tank like this EBR-75 or a Lynx 6x6. So make sure I do that. Now my tip, um, my tip number 8 is do not sit idle. Never sit idle, even if you are in a tank destroyer. Uh, if, if you are, let's say, in a slow tank destroyer like a TS-5 or a T-28, um, if you've spawned in a position, or, or if you've gone to a position where you thought the action was going to be there and there was no action and you ended up, and you ended up sitting there and just waiting for people to come to you but they're not coming to you, what do you have to do? You have to leave. You have to go to the nearest place where you can find some action let's say you're in a ts5 and there's no action you need to go find that action and oops i accidentally kill myself here driving myself into the lake but uh, like i said no problem here even if i died uh, i didn't want to die but if i did die i had two tanks in reserve so it's not a problem immediately jump into another tank and go for it now like i was saying my tip number eight was do not sit idle even if you are in a tank destroyer and what i mean is if you're in a tank destroyer and you've gone to a position where there is no action nothing is happening what are you going to do either you drive to where the action is or if you're in a ts5 and you can't drive to where the action is there's there's no action near you what you can do is hold down the j button basically let your tank self-destruct get yourself back into the garage pick another tank and go to another flank so basically you need to keep yourself um, able to be in the fight or constantly looking for damage uh, doing damage uh, if you're not doing that you need to go to where you can get damage and that is how uh, you will excel in this game mode so uh, remember that and never stay idle even if you are in a tank destroyer now my next tip tip number nine let others focus on killing the final objective now if you're in, in the attacking team let others go shoot the turrets let others um you know be quick to drive in their in their fast tanks or light tanks or whatever and go flank the turrets if they want to there is enough people that are focused on um finishing the game quickly now finishing the game quickly does not benefit anyone um, if the game ends early it means you are still ranked in captain it's team it means you are still ranked in lieutenant and the game is over you have wasted your time um, you need the game to last long enough for you to rank up to major or general so there are a lot of people who don't understand how this game works they think that uh, winning is the best way to do it 
and what they do is just try to kill off the objectives quickly and win the game and they thought they did a good job remember this game mode is about trying to rank up as high as you can uh, within the time limit that is given to you but if that time limit is shortened then you can't have any time to rank up so remember let others focus on killing the objective what you need to do is example i'm defending if i'm defending i need to be trying to shoot the people that are capping people physically inside the cap i need to shoot them why because i earn a lot more frontline points uh, when i shoot those people that are capping um, in fact i think you rank up a lot quicker you double your your ranking speed if you shoot those people that are inside the cap points uh, inside the cap circles um, and if you are on the attacking team uh, you earn a lot of um, frontline points you rank up a lot quicker if you are the person that is doing the capping so the more cap points you have successful if you are part of a capping team you will earn a lot more points than you would if you were just shooting people and trying to do damage so remember your role if you are defending shoot the people in cap and if you are attacking try and get into the cap and cap it out so that was my tip number nine now in tip number ten we are going to reference back to the tip number four which was manage your reserve tanks well right tip number four was keep a good lid on what you are doing with your reserve tanks now this is tip number number ten during your during the end game or during the last minutes of your game make sure you yolo in with your reserve tanks so if you have if you're playing one tank and you have two tanks in reserve time is running out make sure you are yoloing in uh, even if you have to lose your tank uh, try to get as much damage as possible and if you if you have to throw your tank you throw your tank because you have reserve tanks pop into your reserve tank and uh, get straight into the thick of the action and if you have to lose your tank you lose your tank and then get into the next tank and do it all over again because you can you you still have reserve tanks you can trade them for damage which is exactly what i am doing now you can see me rank up to major i am like maybe five ten shots away from making general i don't have much time to do it um, we've lost one objective another objective is on the way to being lost uh, i am trying to be as res as aggressive as i can I have tanks in reserve and I have to use them um, and if this is my last tank right now if I lost this tank I would be locked um, for a couple of minutes in my uh, in my garage because I don't have any tanks left in reserve but you can see me being extra aggressive out here because I don't have a choice um, I am very close to ranking general right um, so I have to be as aggressive as i can now if i had um more if i had one more tank in reserve i would drive straight into the action throw myself into it to try to get as much damage as i can and rank up to general but i'm doing that even though i'm in my last tank because there is no more time left um one objective is lost two objectives are almost on their way being lost those guys are on the castle about to kill that turret so i'm on my way there to try to get as much damage as i can and rank up to general before this game is over now on my way there i see that i have like two and a half maybe three minutes i could drive over the um, repair station here i just need to repair just a little bit and then rush my way uh, up to the tower and see if i can get one or two uh, more shots of damage i just need a little bit more damage just to get me over that line to become general and you can see me not stopping just hurrying up as much as i can i missed this shot here i whiffed it uh, these guys were blocking me but it does not matter i still need to rush up there there's a ts5 in front of me there's nothing much i can do about that i try to shoot him and i know i'm not going to do any damage to him frontally i need to get to his sides and i took a shot because of that and now there is a frenzy going on the rest of my team are here as well everyone has the same idea they want to get as much damage as they can before this game is over we're forcing this guy up pushing him straight up 
I get one shot out of it, but that's not enough. He's already dead. Now you can see the time running out. There is just over a little over a minute left. I need like two, three shots maybe for me to rank up to general. What am I going to do? I need to get down to where they are and see if I can get one or two more shots if I can. Look at these guys are sitting on top here. We're just going to bulldoze them and see if we can encourage them to uh, get down this hill and see if we can get some damage. Now, look at us here. <laughs> All of us like piranhas trying to, um, you know, a frenzy here, trying to get a bit of damage. Now, thank goodness I'm in a T44-100, which means I'm a bit quicker than all these heavy tanks. I just need to be a little bit quicker than this Pantera P44. And that's exactly what happens. I catch these two guys here and I'm going to put a shot into him and see if I can ram him and get a little bit of damage. See if I can get the killing shot. Please let me rank up before I die. Yes. And this was it, uh, my final shot, and I died. But I got into a general position, and that's exactly what I wanted to happen now. This game, although I didn't get to be general of the army, but I did get to be general, and I, that was exactly what I, what I was expecting. Uh, I did not fire any premium shells here, so I'm pretty happy for myself. Uh, even though I did not get the general of the army, um, that means top in XP, that's okay. I still made well over 300 and uh, 30,000 uh, credits, which is very good in my opinion. So hope you enjoyed this video and took some uh, information that is useful for your journey in Frontlines 2020. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.